Hello everybody and welcome back to our very first farm in Farming Simulator 22. In the last episode we finished up a year selling off all of our silage as well as uh, I think we harvested our wheat or maybe we did that the episode before previous. I don't remember. It's all kind of running together and I did want to address a comment from uh, one of the viewers that, said, has, that has made the point that uh, this series has become quite repetitive because we're basically just cutting grass and planting wheat and feeding chickens and all of that stuff. And I do want to say I agree. Uh, this, this, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to hurry up and get to the point where we're able to start putting down some cow farms, because the uh, the capstone of this series is going to be setting up a production chain that involves dairy, and uh, that's kind of where we'll end the series and move on to the next one, which I'm hoping is, well, which I'm planning to uh, do, go over to. Uh, uh, I forget what the name of the map is, but the one where you do a bunch of logging. Uh, so our next series will be a logging series where we build up a small little logging empire. So that's the plan for the future, but we just need to kind of get there. That said, I do think that um, I'm going to go ahead and make the compromise of selling off the big tractor that we have here, just so we have enough money. Uh, I don't really like driving it anyways, and this fence that we're using should have the power to do pretty much everything that we need. So, because we now have the money that we need to start buying some... Uh, buying some cow farms i think what i might end up doing is all right so here's my here's my quandary here um so we definitely i don't think we definitely i think we definitely sorry i think we definitely do not need for these two fields here to be wheat fields so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start building our i'm gonna start building our um cow farms on these two fields here and then i'll leave the rest of these square fields here that are easier to cut as wheat um, now, my understanding from the way that these numbers are working is that uh, you, the bigger barns allow you to have 80 cows, whereas the smaller barns allow you to have 45, which obviously two of those is going to give me 90 cows. Now, if I bring up my calculator, maybe, if I can press the right key bind, uh, if I bring up my calculator... Uh, 254, 254 times 2 is 508, which is actually less money than a single facility. So I'm not sure what the I'm not sure what the thought process was for their economy of scale for this because two of these is less money and provides you with 10 more cows for the price so I don't know if maybe that's just a bug and they didn't catch it or if there's some kind of weird economy of scale thing that I'm just not understanding uh, in my mind the building here should cost marginally less than two of these because it's a single building and it should have around the same amount of cows I'm just I'm not really understanding the point of why they did it the way that they did it but Nothing I, nothing that we can do about it. Uh, as much as I would love to have just the single big building, uh, I think it makes more sense for us to just suck it up and buy two small buildings right now, which will allow us to get 90 cows instead of just 80 cows. So that said, I think what I want to do is plant... So how many of these could we get? I think we could, f I think we could potentially get four of these in here. Hmm. So if I put this right here, let's make sure that we're actually snapping it exactly in the right direction. Because I could... Well, I, but I want to make sure I have room to turn around and everything, because like all of this right here is going to be a little bit difficult to deal with. Or does it make... Because if I can put one, two, three... Let's say, let's say we do three cow barns. I mean, I guess we could start over here and just kind of see how it goes. So we can do that. Complies with... Oh, am I standing in the way? <laughs> All right, let me move myself over here, and then hopefully that'll give us room. If worst comes to worst, I do have the mod that allows me to override the placement uh, placement thing, and we can do that. I But I don't, also don't want to put them, you know, too close to... Oops, wrong one. Too close together, so... Yeah, I think even if we put them, and and we also want to be able to get to the to the uh, to the slurry dispenser there too. So I definitely don't want to go too crazy with our placement here. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's probably fine. 
Now, the issue that we're going to have here is, is that we don't, I don't think we have enough money to buy all of the cows that we're going to want to buy, but, uh, this is at least a good start. And I think, honestly, I think maybe these two, these two cow barns here might be enough to just get us, get us where we need to be. Uh, cause this will make, this will make enough milk for us to start a production chain, which is kind of the, the goal for the series is just to get to where we're able to, you know, produce milk and all of that. So, um... Let's see here. We have. I have to. You have to go to the actual barn here to do that. Uh, Holstein cows. If we buy them at a part at the place where they're able to actually, um, we buy them at the place where they're actually able to do anything. <coughs> we're gonna have to spend eleven hundred dollars, and we also have to feed them. And unfortunately, we've already used up all of our feed. All of our. Uh, grass that we've held up but actually that being said let's uh deactivate that and let's start making some hay because now instead of making silage to sell we want to make as much hay as we can to feed cows so that's going to be the goal for the for the for the for the future couple of years that we're doing here is to start making it so that uh we're able to fill up this these barns with cows fill up this uh uh, factory here with hay that we can then feed to the cows the cows will make the milk and then we can build a couple of production facilities so i'm thinking that what we can do is if we end up just holding on whoop, where's my mouse if we end up just holding on to um if we end up just holding on to these two here and not doing a third one we could either put a production building here or we can put a production building somewhere over here and that will work out pretty good i think um so that's kind of the plan I know I'm rambling on a little bit right now. It's partly because I just... It occurred to me that we could probably just put some barns down. So at least now we've got the expense of the buildings out of the way. And we can start moving forward with that plan. So now what we need to do is... Is we need to get out of the winter time here. Because nothing is growing in the winter time. Uh, double check our chickens feed levels. We might need to go ahead and feed them. And yeah, so now that we don't have that big tractor eating up space over here in the barn, we can use that from now on. We have eggs over here that need to be sold, but uh, well, actually, I think we can hold off on feeding the chickens because it's going to take us a second to do that. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and advance time to next month and see what things look like. Okay. So chickens are still pretty good as far as feed goes. I'm kind of, I'm trying to, I'm going to try to minimize the number of times that we feed our chickens because now that we have the two trailer set up there, it's a little bit more of an annoying thing to deal with. All right. Pull the auto loading trailer around, get our eggs loaded up and get them sold off. I know we do have a, we also have a loan that we have, that we eventually need to pay off, but, uh, I'm not necessarily concerned about that being a condition of finishing the series. Um, I know that a lot of I know, I know that all of us are pretty anxious to start moving on to something different than the repetitive thing that we've been doing. So I totally understand that. All right, we get all of that sold off. Should be about forty-ish grand worth of. Why is my trailer drifting? It did this before, too. Can you sell, please? All right, there we go. Oh, we didn't get nearly as much out of that as I thought we were going to. <clears throat> but that's okay. Oh, wait, what am I doing? <laughs> I am spacing out and not doing things the way I'm supposed to be doing them. Let's drop off our trailer here. Oops. All right, and then we'll advance one more month and see how our chicken feed is doing. I think we can actually go ahead and do one more month and we'll be fine. I want to get in. Well, we're into March. What? Okay. Now all of a sudden we. <laughs> now all of a sudden we have uh, snow in March. Whatever. I do want to go, let's go check out our grass, because technically, as I, as I run straight into the trees, I want to go check out our grass fields over here to see <clears throat> if they are, uh, see where they are in their growing process, because we do still need to cut grass for the cows once we have them. Once we have our, once we have grass to put in here, 
Okay, yeah. Oh, okay. We definitely need to come back over here and do some fertilizing. Never. I, ugh. I'm glad we came over here and checked that because uh, that we would have gotten a much lower yield out of our grass if I hadn't caught it. So let's run over here and grab our fertilizer spreader. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we can. Uh, and we can make sure that we're getting a really good harvest out of our grass. But the great thing about the way that we're going to be doing this is that we're not waiting for the we're not really waiting for the end of the year to um for our for our whatever for the food that we're making. Or like we're, sorry, my brain my brain is already on to the next topic before my mouth catches up with where I am. Uh, the great thing about the switching over to hay production is is that all we're doing is just stockpiling hay so we don't have to we're not like waiting for the end of the year for the harvest that we're doing we're oh sorry i had to turn my speed limit thingy off so that we can actually get some speed going here we're stockpiling we're basically just stockpiling food rather than you know storing it to the end of the year so we can sell it it's something that we're always just using all the time so fortunately that's going to be a, a, a a, an interesting way of moving forward and I will finish off these fields and be back when we're done because I know watching this isn't exactly the most exciting thing in the world let me get lined up with this though because it's hard for me to turn the recording off okay there we go while I'm doing that see you in a second I have to say that increasing our max working speed to almost 40 miles an hour is almost like a time lapse get this last little stri strip here done and like it, it was seriously was I think less than a minute for me to finish this entire field doing 40 miles an hour um, for those of you who are just joining the series and you're a little, little bit confused by that I do have a mod that allows me to run my implements at the max speed of my tractor rather than the max speed of the implement and uh, I do a lot of things like that in these oops I do a lot of things like that in this game because it sort of allows me to do a uh, it sort of allows me to do a modded version of a of a either a time lapse or a time time compression. So you saw how we could speed up the time to make the time go by faster, but there's no there's no default way in the game to be able to do that. So <clears throat> having this uh, speed limit mod that allows me to just run the equipment much faster than it typically would is sort of the equivalent of that. So I do I do cheat ish sort of kind of but I try not to avoid too many of the actual work things that need to get done except obviously we're not doing lime and all of that. So it, I, 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 I do some cheating just to avoid some of the mundane boring repetitive stuff. Um, we are, there's already enough of that and the way we're doing it and then adding some of the other steps in there just makes it take a lot longer to get this stuff done. Okay, so at this point, I think our chickens really are... No, wait. They, yeah, okay, sorry. I already, I already spaced out and forgot what we had. <clears throat> I think we can go one more month and we'll be okay. Let's save our game, though. So that way, if there's some kind of catastrophic problem that I'm not considering, we can maybe reload and fix it. All right, so the chickens should still be fine, right? They should have just enough... Yeah, total capacity, health, okay. Yep. So, first thing we're going to do, so I don't space out and forget, is to head in here and get these trailers em uh, emptying what they have. And I'll just put this right here like that. Oh, come on. Stop fighting me. What are you doing? Empty that. We'll let that go. I'm just like I'm trying to I'm trying to be efficient with our time here, and not have to wait for these to unload. So I leave the trailers like this, set them to go, and then I can leave them leave them there while they're doing that, and go find something else to do with my time. Since we're already doing trailer related things, I guess we'll go ahead and grab our eggs and get those sold off. And then we can uh, figure out what our grass cutting plan is going to be. Come on, let me load. There we go. Get this stuff loaded up. And then uh, advance time until we're ready to harvest our first set of grass cutting. I don't know if we're going to get to harvesting our wheat for the year in this episode. I am trying to accelerate things as much as I can because I know we are all ready to move on to something else. The the, the repetitiveness of this, this farming setup that we have is absolutely a drain on my interest as well as yours. So don't worry. I, I am trying to hurry up and get through this stuff. <clears throat> 
Come on. There we go. And then, if I can get off the tree. <laughs> oh, whatever. Let's get this stuff uh, dropped off and then we can. Uh, we checked it back in March, right? I don't remember. I have a I have an attention problem or something like that, and I just or a memory problem. I don't know if it's an attention problem. It's de there's definitely some kind of a memory problem. We should be on one of or two of three. Okay, so two more months and we'll be able to fully harvest this stuff. Let's go ahead and advance ourselves two more months then. One and two. All right, so now we should have fully grown grass ready to harvest. We just gotta wait for the game to update. At least we should. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. So now we can go grab our grass cutting equipment. I definitely want to convert these fields over into... After we harvest these, I'm going to paint this over with grass so that we don't have the wheat growing anymore. I know that's not 100% efficient with our, with our space and everything like that, but I don't want to be harvesting wheat around the, the fields there, so... And I also don't necessarily want to worry about having to cut grass there either, so we'll just we'll just paint it and make it look nice and oh come on, grab it. Oh, 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 come on. Aw, oh, you're killing me with the trees. What's the problem here? Let me out. Alright. <clears throat> Some unnecessary ridiculousness, but sometimes that's just the way it works. Grab our bailing trailer here. Grab our bale. Tra or, sorry, our baler and our bailing trailer over here. And now we can get started with cutting all of our stuff over here. So now let's see. I need to lower these. I need to lower that. I need to lower and un unfold. Oops. Lower. Unfold and lower. There we go. I eventually get it done. Oop. I was too busy looking at uh, an, a UI interface thing and then I did that. Alright, so what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to start by going around the perimeter here once or twice just to give ourselves some room. Uh, a, a member did say that I could go into the construction member, uh, menu and remove those obstacles over there. I just keep forgetting. Okay. So, just like everything else that we do, I'm going to cut all of these grass fields here. Uh, put a nice big fat cut in here. I, I do. I, I try every episode to do a little bit of this up front so that you guys can see what it is that I'm doing. Because a lot of you are new and haven't been watching this series. So those of you who are continuing to watch the series, I appreciate your patience uh, for some of the repetitive stuff. Because I do have to assume that most of the people watching this have never seen the series and they have no idea what's going on. So I do try to put a little bit of the standard repetitive stuff that we do in... Um, simply to make it so that everybody has a little bit of something out of that. And, of course, I I had a feeling I was going to do that. Okay. There we go. I was, I was trying to do a little loop around, but that didn't work out the way I thought it was going to. <laughs> okay. So, uh, I'll finish cutting up this field, and then when we get to the part where I have a nice alternating patterns, I'll bring it back for the people who don't know what we're doing, and then we'll uh, finish up the fields and move on to whatever the next thing's going to be. Alright, and as always, I try to bring you guys back when we're about halfway through, so you can see the pretty little striped pattern of cut versus not cut grass. Um, I don't really have a good way to fix this field the way I want it to. As you can see, we are using the GPS guidance steering mod that allows us to get nice clean passes all the way through like this, so we're not missing any of the grass, and we're maximizing our efficiency. Uh, but unfortunately, that this field over here has a weird turn at the end of it that makes it hard to jump back into where I want to be. But as, this is all we're going to be doing all the way back, grabbing the last few rows of these, and then we'll clean up the last little patch over there, and then we can uh, drop all of our grass off in the silo. <clears throat> and get it turning into hay. So I'll finish all of this up and bring you guys back when we're ready to move on to the next step. 
All right, finishing up the last little bits of the fields over here. As always, I'm not overly concerned with getting perfect cuts. As long as we're getting the vast majority of the grass into our cutting over here, I'm perfectly fine with that. So we'll do the last little bits here, get our stuff dropped off. <laughs> uh, could go a little nicer, but uh, I'm kind of I'm, I'm like you guys. I'm like some of you guys. I'm kind of impatient, and I'm ready to get done with this. So let's uh, let's just quickly cut the rest of this grass and get it get it put in. All right. We'll come back and grab the last little patches of that stuff in a second. This isn't the most. Uh, this isn't the most action-packed thing to do, but it does provide us with feed for cows. And we can start putting them into the barn and start getting our milk set up. You know what? We don't have enough to fill up a bale anyway, so we're just going to go ahead and get everything turned off. Get that folded up. Get that folded up. Get all of our stuff dropped off to the... Oh, okay. I guess that has to be down for us to push the trailer back. That's okay, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. And... Oh. <laughs> uh. Okay. So, we're not going to have enough money to fill up both barns with cows, but we should have enough to uh, fill up one barn with cows and enough feed here. Oh, of course it gets pushed off to the side. Can I... Oh. Awesome. Okay. So now we can have that go back. Not what I meant to do. I want to detach that. And then I want to put this over here and detach that. Sweet. Okay. So now, now that we have, now that, well, I have to wait till next month so we can actually fill these up, but let's go ahead and open these so that we can drive in here and drop food down when we're ready to go. We'll have to wait until next month. We'll have to advance time the next month so that we have hay available to put in, to, available to put in here. Then we can fill up one. Uh, we can fill up, probably fill up both of these. I'm not sure. So now that I think about it, I do need to move this setup out of the way because we're going to need to be able to bring a trailer over here to do that. So yeah, let's grab this. And then we can move this over. We can just keep all of our equipment over in the grass field. Over in the field where the grass is. Oops. Okay. Uh, we can keep... We just get in the habit of just dropping this equipment off over here in the field that we're going to be using. That way they're just kind of out of the way and um, we don't have to do a bunch of ridiculous moving things out of the way to drop things off. So let's do that. And that. And now we can head back over and... Hmm... I think we might end up needing to buy another trailer. If I'm perfectly honest with you. And what I typically do, what I did to my other farm is I went ahead and I bought a, an unrealistic trailer. So where do I find that? Trailers. I have this really nice gooseneck trailer. This one right here. And it has an unrealistic capacity, 182 cubic meters. Again, I don't mind doing these somewhat unrealistic things because it allow it's all it does is just re reduce repetitiveness. It doesn't really provide you with an advantage per se. It just reduces the number of trips that you have to go back. So we'll do a bumper pull version of that. I don't care about branding or any of that stuff. The color's fine, so let's buy that. Now we have a good way of moving. Uh, where would it? It's going to be delivered over there at our delivery spot. I do have the. Uh, delivery mod installed that allows you to set a delivery point for your for anything you buy to be dropped off. It does a 2.5% uh, fee for that, so it is not a free thing. You are paying for the convenience. So we'll grab this guy and take it back over to where our silo is going to be. <clears throat> 
Then we will be able to advance time until we have hay for next month. Alright. This thing oversteers like a lot. Okay. So we'll turn off our tractor. Let's check our productions. So we have uh, hay being made. That's going to be made out of the grass and it's already starting to be stored. Chicken feed is good. So let's go ahead and save the game first. I don't want to. I always try to remember to save the game whenever possible. And then we can advance time to next month. Should have plenty of hay available now. So let's do that. <clears throat> Get this full of hay. We can drop it off. Ooh, I didn't realize that our. All right, well, that'll definitely be next episode. We'll harvest our wheat for the year. All right. So now we can drop off our hay. The only, only gripe I have with this trailer is that the doors open that way, and then they ca it causes an issue with the clipping on the, on the fences and stuff, but nothing I can do about it. All right. So we'll let that finish doing that. Yeah, see, it, it, it always causes that issue. But fortunately, we can just leave the trailer in here. That way it's not in the way. And then anytime we need to fill it up, we can just always bring it back. <clears throat> so what I think we'll do is, is we'll fill this first one up here with cows. Because we it's going to take us, what, 50 grand or something like that to fill this up with the cows that are already instantly going to produce milk. Yeah. So we'll buy that. And now we have cows. And they're going to be producing milk. I do have a mod that allows me to automatically sell my milk. Um, I don't remember if that's something I have to... Huh. Does it auto sell? I gotta, I gotta, re, I gotta revisit the mod because I think as long as I have it turned on, like I have to, I think I have to exit the game to turn that off. So for now, I think I'll just leave it on so we can keep getting the money out of it. Or no, I think I did turn it off because I had a production chain in the other game. I don't remember. It doesn't matter. You guys don't care about that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and call this an episode. Uh, we have made significant progress towards our end goal of creating a dairy production chain. So uh, yeah. That's what we're going to be doing. Hopefully, you guys have been having lots of fun. Be sure to click that like button if you did so that the YouTube algorithm will know and send the video out to as many people as possible. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so now so that when the next video comes out, it will show up in your feed and you'll be able to watch it as soon as it becomes available. Channel members do get early access to all of my content, so be sure to click that join button, check out the list of options available there, and decide if any of those are right for you. If a membership is not in the cards, you can always leave YouTube's form of a tip with that thanks button. Direct contributions such as these are greatly appreciated and a critical component to helping to turn this channel into a full-time gig, which is the dream. So again, thank you very much for your time. I hope you guys are enjoying building this farm with me. Be sure to come back for the next one, and I'll see you then.